Today, what is on my mind is something that I'm hearing from a lot of people right now, which is there's a lot of scarcity thinking and fear. And these are old ways. These are not ways that are serving us. And this is a time where we're being called toward new ways of doing things and shedding those things that don't serve us anymore. So rather than be afraid or to just assume things are gonna go wrong, now is the time to really embrace that you might be wrong about that. And things could be beautiful, but you just don't have any data, so you're afraid. And that's normal, okay? So when you wanna start a business or start a family or take on a new ambitious project, there's risk. And the risk is you don't know how it's gonna turn out, but you also don't know it's gonna turn out badly. So two things you're gonna do. First thing, you're gonna write down your list of all the things that could go wrong. And then you're going to find a reason that they could go right, okay? So a lot of times we go into the unknown with fear because we don't know what's out there. We put ourselves out there. There's a risk in looking bad. There's a risk in you know, some sort of, of consequence. Mostly it's about looking bad, but that's another video. <laughs> so you're gonna make a list of all the things that could go wrong and all the reasons it could go right. So part of this is just changing your thinking. Second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna actually do an experiment. So the reason we don't act is that we're, we wanna be perfect. And perfect is the excuse to not act. I picked this up from a video I saw today. I thought it was brilliant, so I'm passing it along. Perfection is the reason we get to stop and not put ourselves out there. But the thing is, if you don't put yourself out there, it's not going to be perfect, but it's also not gonna get seen by the world. If we had an empire of all the things around us, of all the ideas that we were too scared to do, imagine how rich and beautiful the world is. People are creating things all the time and there is risk in putting your ideas out there. But what makes you weird also makes you powerful. So I hope you'll, you'll find a way to just do a small experiment where you're adding value, you're giving it a defined period of time, and you're just getting the life experience doing it. So when you have the life experience doing it, you not only know how to do it, because even if you didn't do it before, you're not quitting your job and uh, starting a new business. You're finding a project you can do for a friend who needs a little bit of capacity that they don't have with a skill that you wanna develop or a talent or a way of being that you want to develop that you're gonna do by life experience. So a lot of times people come to me wanting to change careers. And before they, they change careers, they wanna guarantee that it's gonna be great. And there's no guarantee, but there is the opportunity to, to get some life experience. So make a project, make it small, and then find a way to do it. You're gonna get the data, you're gonna get some experience as to how to do a thing that you didn't know how to do before. And from that data, you can say, is this something I love or not? So that's what I've got today. So when you have the life experience, you trust yourself more, you have some sort of basis to make a decision, and you start to see that possibilities and the unknown are just a matter of life experience. So you get evidence that there is support for you that you get evidence that no matter where you are, what you're doing, you always have something beneath you supporting you. Because isn't that what gravity is? Gravity is always there underneath you, supporting you, pulling you down, okay? And I don't mean pulling you down like pulling your ideas down, but you always have the earth beneath you. There is something always solid. And I don't know where we get this idea that we're floating out there, but there's always something there to to grab us, always support. So you have evidence, sometimes you jump, but you still come back and there's always something solid. We can be that more for each other. I can be that for you. I believe in your ideas and I believe they're powerful. And today is the day to find the possibility that they're gonna work. And also for you to do that experiment, for you to step out into your possibility Get that experience so you can trust yourself more and have data to make future decisions from. I want to hear all about the things that you're going to create, all the things that you're up to, and I'm excited to cheer you on. I'll see you next time.